I made yeah. it about yeah. me instead of my friends. I didn't mean to. I thought we were all doing that. But, uh, that's, I, did you go to college? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's insane. So we we had a really funny talk about Grand Torino off camera. Yeah, they're making a second one, and and this time he means it. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's fucked up, man. He's old and he's learned nothing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just found it. What, what? What did you get this riffraff off the street? You're always bringing in the riffraff. Like I a found him at hat. the uh, at the Hawaiian surplus store. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for cool shirt. shirts. Just hanging out. I was trying to return this one. Actually. I, I like I like the sock shirt combo. Of these? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. You're very intentional with how I, you dress. I really, I usually am not, and sometimes I kind of stumble into this. These socks are funny in that I'll, I can take them off take them and off. show you what I'm talking about. You show about. us now. So they look, first off, I guess, they look like normal. Did you make this decision? You woke up today and you said, this shirt, these socks, <laughs> we're running it. I, it wasn't so, it wasn't as intentional as it probably seemed. Okay. But, <laughs> but you know, they just look like they have palm trees on it they look pretty normal right yeah but then when you take them off uh oh it just looks like a disgusting <laughs> oh my god it looks like fresh <laughs> i took my shoes off in like a shoes off house and i looked down as like jump scared myself they're the they're the color that you'd use to like color in people with crayons yeah. at school yeah it looks like a ken doll's foot like they didn't I render the toes yeah, yeah. <laughs> You um, bring in this riffraff, a little, like, yeah. like a cat with a damn biscuit in he his mouth. He was meowing at me outside. Yeah. And I said, come on in. Help me. Old. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm old as shit. You're old as shit. <laughs> I asked right before we started rolling. I was like, how old are you? Yeah. I've never met. What's your name? I'm Zach. Zach. Oyama. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna Slime. just un un this is un that is yeah. unbelievable. Oh, you gotta get really close. You gotta, you gotta be so like, yeah. Imagine okay. you can taste it, right? Or just only imagine. They always mm. the fans always get pissed at me because I like I didn't know much about Mr. Beast and like whoever we have on, but this time they're, they're like, in my boat as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I mean. was I was thinking about that before getting here. I was like, God, what if anything is the sort of Venn diagram of of like our different worlds? And I think it's pretty probably kind of slight. Yeah. I think it's bigger than we think. Oh, really? You yeah. think it's bigger? Yeah, because when we when we hinted that we were going to do D and D, people like popped off like way more people than I thought popped off. And I feel like if you watch D and D, you know him. Are you so you're a D and D guy? I yeah, I'm I'm a D and D guy. <laughs> do I, you know oh, him? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm having an aneurysm over here. I'm laughing because you, ask him for his you, name. you specifically you opened. Asking for his name. Slime. Wait, That's insane. Wait until this, we started. That's <laughs> insane. I, yeah. I think what's really That's funny. Fun. Gotta the, save it. Gotta the part I really fun. like is when he said like that the audience is in the same boat as him, yeah. which so... implies that they don't know him. Oh, because yeah. Zach Oyama is Mr. Beast. I, I that's what you're that's saying. Surely not Are you the that. Mr. Beast of what you do? I give away Ferraris to people who roll nat twenties. Uh, <laughs> that's got a beast, actually. No pun intended. So thirty six no. years old, huh? You're thirty yeah. six. I'm thirty six years old. You know, I, I guess I was that's not cool. exactly yeah. hoping to come out of the gate with how old I was. <laughs> sort of the fear of yeah. coming on a podcast of younger you're people. Ten years old. Also old. Yeah. To be clear, I, that's why yeah. you guess how old I am. Guess how old I am. Uh, I feel like I'm older than you, right? You're older. Okay. I don't know. Are you like 30? I'm 33. 33? Yeah. Okay. Thank God. I know, right? I feel uh, the same way. He I also like, does this with every guest. Well, I like, ask them their age. Yeah. And then if they're too young, I scold them and okay. I tell them, you'll never be great. Okay. And if they're older than me, I'm like, finally, <laughs> we'll never be great. So you're yeah. our oldest guest. I'm your old. Oh no! Fuck. <laughs> I think so. Sucks. Wow. I think so. How old That's is awful. It was probably Stav up until this point, right? Who's the Stavros. same age as you? Stav is the same age. At least Stavros looks. Oh, what Mango? Is it Mango the same age as you? No, no like Mango is thirty. Oh, really? No way. No way. Yeah, Thirty-one. I, I only his last drunk December. I, you know, in thinking of our Venn diagrams, like TikTok, for some, I don't really know anything about melee or whatever, but I get his TikToks. Mango. Yeah, that is. And, uh, you're the only guy. You're one of 40 people. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, I can't tell you why that happens to me. Um, but I can't. I mean, he's he's years younger than me. Yeah, he's 30. Okay. Yeah. Wow. He's he's on his last drunk December for his life, he said. Wow. Drunk December is an event in Mango's life where he gets drunk every day of December. Um, <laughs> That's a bad. 
which is different than his normal life. So it's, it's not that he's quitting drinking. He's it's his last month of drinking every day. <laughs> yeah. this, this on Earth, there was this old streamer that would speed run Mario Kart, and he would do Delfino December, which is he would play Delfino Square every month of December, which is kind of like it this. Is, well, what's if the, Delfino Square was drinking beer? Is it like a punishment? Day. Is Delfino a shit map? Not not really. He just Delfino. he enjoyed it. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah. Mango also enjoys. Yeah, and Mango also enjoys this, but other people from the outside would say maybe don't do anything straight for 30 days <laughs> yeah <laughs> even delfino do you, do you have video game history do you play games yeah i like to play video games but not like god like, we're old bro what like, games did you like when you were a kid yeah i, I, was, I was playing doom play. when it came out Just i did not I, I did not get into like computer stuff until much later but like i was playing like super nintendo sega <laughs> Like I'm old as shit. I had a Genesis too. Yeah. These are brands. I had a I had a these are yeah. These were companies that made. <laughs> Sega used to be a console. If they you know they what a console do is. what Nintendo don't. Mm. You remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. We used to read magazines. Sega Channel. I, read I didn't have it, but that was insane. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, no. Yeah, I, I you know I played like all the like standard Super Nintendo like Nintendo and, and Sega things. Uh, what did I get into the most? I guess like. I played a lot of Halo uh, in high school into college. I played like the most intense video game addiction I ever had was like World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah. And I was like <laughs> zipper like that <laughs> when like I failed a semester my freshman year of college because I got too into World of Warcraft and I was like mm -hmm. raiding and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that gets that, you at the, the yeah. gamer cookout. You were yeah. a troll mage. Undead rogue. So close. Well, so cool. Was that close? Yeah. Was that close? Not really. Same, same side. I, I, I flipped, yeah. I flipped yeah. one coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask a dumb question? If yeah. I never played WoW and I'm only now playing D and D for the first time. Yeah. When people say like I play Undead Rogue and WoW, is it similar to D and D when they say I do that? Yes. Yeah. Like, in the you, principle uh, of like races and classes. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. I think that makes sense because well. They have like a racial bonus. <laughs> they do have a racial bonus. Uh -huh. They all have different like. Maybe the perks. Gran Torino guy was right. Yeah. <laughs> what if we had those in real life? <laughs> Let, let's explore this in our new <laughs> unplugged comedy special. <laughs> I think it's this, time to just go off the cuff on this. <laughs> this yeah. whole section has to be censored for anybody who's read the bell curve. If it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it basically, WoW is WoW is kind of like. A lot of games like Baldur's Gate and shit, they took either Baldur's Gate 2, the old ass one. Hmm. They took the bones of DD where it's like sometimes you roll damage, sometimes it's low, sometimes it's high, sometimes you miss. And uh and yeah, and they took these like generational oh, classes. Yeah. Cool. That's an undead row. That's rogue. so sick. Undead, That's what I looked like. Yeah. You, <laughs> the yeah. third you over had, from the left and the middle row. Did you have tier three or what'd you roll? Or one over to the right. Were you were you like a were you raiding and shit? I you, was raiding and shit. I had yes, well like yes. the guild I was in fell apart and I and it thankfully kept me alive in a normal person. Guild drama's so <laughs> sick, bro. We had this guy from Florida who just smoke cigarettes on the mic yeah. on uh mumble. We didn't have wow. Discord back then, what and the he his fuck? it was part of a, a clan or a, a guild called the Vile on Spirestone, and it was ran by this guy named fucking I forget his name. He's like forty, smoked cigarettes, and he was like just a manic all the yeah. time. And then like one day, Pally guy, the other guy in the guild, decided to bifurcate during a Nax run. No. Yeah, and everyone just drops. It's like they left the guild. This person left the guild. This way, and I'm on the other call because we're doing middle a, of a run in the middle of a ten man farm raid for Nax. And he's like, oh, look, where'd you go? Pally guy, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Dude, it was like a move, like all the fucking sensors in the spaceship started going down. It was crazy. And it was all online. What does bifurcate mean? To split into tune, like your sexuality. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. That's now I understand. In, in my <laughs> well, it's like, split, it's like okay. to split into he's, two, but then only ever go one direction. Bifurcated sexual. <laughs> yeah. It's a split into two, but really, yeah, really like the first one. I thought yeah. this was a wow specific term until until right then. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Bifurcate now. Bifurcate. Uh, Bifornicate? That's what he does. That is yeah. what he does. Yeah. Love well him. Love him. He gets there. Hi. That's good. My name's Nick. Yeah. I get there. Um... <laughs> Uh, what is your concept of what the yard is and who we are and anything? Yeah, that's a good OG. question. I think, I think, I'm pretty interested in like streaming and and YouTube and stuff. But like, I come from sort of a different world of like worked at College Humor and uh wor like and and work in sort of like the more TV and film kind of world. So like from afar, interested in it, but find most of it really you know not for me. And thank then you, thank you, sort thank of, you, thank you, thank you. I think I just. You still stream, you stream or something. Huh? You actively stream. Yeah, but I'm different Don't say with thank it, you bro. like you're I'm resonating. I'm different with it, dude. I cook it up different about it, dude. <laughs> no, I, I definitely like 
struggled to find anything that had any sort of uh, similar sensibilities to me, I guess. I see. And then weirdly, I don't, I don't even really know how. Through maybe through like a like, uh, you might my algorithm or whatever got this, and I was oh, like, oh, no shit. Same. Like, like on TikTok or I'll go I think a, a TikTok or a, or YouTube. What yeah. feels better to you? That's right, that's when someone says like I found you guys through the algorithm, it weirdly feels better than like my friend told me. Oh. Yeah. Cuz I'm like, yeah, we broke into it, bitch, cuz YouTube <laughs> has decided he, that we are hungry candy for your brain. He yeah, has absolutely. he has taken the pill of being analytics pilled and 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 beating the game pilled. I like the idea of mm. your friend coming up to you and be like, "Yo, what's up? I know you as a human." I saw your butthole once when we were in college. This is something I like, and we should you should like yeah. this. That yeah. means more to me. But you care more about, like, we're succeeding on the algorithm because you poison your mind. Yeah. It's, Let's think of the podcast. I'm down to feel that way. God. I think it's like, ah. to me, that means, like, you, you, you have to try less hard once it's gotten into the algorithm, right? You, like, mm, do you I feel... Know. No? I don't know. Yeah. Because I don't know what, what it like your role at college humor entailed beyond like i imagine you're yeah. writing you're a cast member because that's what yeah. i know you from i watched you in so many sketches oh, really cool. yes you know I, dude, yes <laughs> yes that's, that's so what i'm sick. saying he's not he's not some like small guy he's in sketches with tens of millions of views i'm not a small guy <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's insane that we have invited him on and then you sit in the word what was your name again what, 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 did, what do you want from me i didn't i didn't i signed off and, on this and, but i didn't bring it in also, with a fucking anything, cat. it was older yeah. youtube it was old youtube yeah, not I was even asking what his favorite fresh. Kyle sketch was. Is it Roomies or is it Lost? Roomies, I think, right? Well, yeah, that's fair. Roomies uh, is fine. I, I, you know, you're either a Lost boy or a Roomies girl. No, I'm, no. I'm, <laughs> well, you know what? I, I've seen so many good neighbor sketches, but I'm trying to think of like, I actually am blanking on what Lost is. Lost is uh, it's SoCal Quick Hit. It's Kyle standing oh, in front of a beach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and, yeah. I'm just like really fucking down yeah, right now. They're talking about carne really, asada burritos. Yeah, yeah. 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 Halo, Xbox, all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. you were you were you said you came from like traditional TV and film. You'd mentioned the other day your first job. Yeah, I thought it was really funny. Oh yeah, so I'm from Alabama. I moved out here after college, and like my first job out here was a, a PA uh, on Key and Peele. And mm -hmm. I, I met Jordan because he was in a movie I interned on in Georgia. And, uh, and, and luckily they like gave me the job as the show was, was becoming a thing. And he did not drive at the time. And so my <laughs> job for three years was being a PA and then their assistant stuff, but just driving him to and from work every day. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> They're, They're just, just like, like melee players, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these, these, these God creatives are just like, yeah, well, sorry, I cook it up different. Yeah, Mango can't yeah. drive. Mango also can't oh, drive. Yeah, Mango so could have made that's Get That's wild considering the like... The mechanical understanding <laughs> of playing you a video need to drive. Game. Driving yeah. driving an automatic just doesn't hit enough dopamine receptors. So yeah. just tune out. You have somebody else do it. <laughs> yeah. That, I think that, that actually plays. So did he like refuse to learn or was just I think like... he was from so he's from Chicago, lived in New York and Amsterdam, and then moved to LA when he got mad TV. So I think it just never happened. And then he was like successful enough to not necessarily need it. And then I think he drives now, actually. But but for the whole time, I, it was like job security for me that he did not know how to yeah. drive. Yeah, you don't want him hitting the DMV. You start. Yeah, like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Dude, did you watch my TV? I, I watched it a little bit. I would probably watch more SNL. I watch but, it all yeah. the time. I also watch Matt TV. Yeah. The, a, lo a lot the of adults the adults are talking, talking like it's so <laughs> the adults super in the old. room are talking uh yeah. i had a, I, I watch it a lot yeah it was great i, uh, I played uh, nintendo 64 as well uh, the adults I, are talking i played nintendo 64 how old you, you <laughs> act like we're 17 you ever, and 20 right? do, you, <laughs> do you ever meet younger people or have younger people as your normal friends just wish they were dead <laughs> isn't that like a gen z thing there's a there's sort of like a fatalistic response that I feel like you get from like very online younger people, but also our age people. I'm, I feel like I'm basically dead. We all kind of want it. It's weird <laughs> these days. It's like we I'm have done. Nintendo. Yeah. We can jerk off wherever we want. Yeah. Like where, oh, sorry, whenever we want, not wherever we and want. No, we are. We can do this anyway. <laughs> we now. actually could. I, could. I could jerk off in the Sahara Desert right now. We go to Machu Picchu yeah. and just blast ropes. <laughs> If, but, the, if the Apple goggles are going to be worth anything, at you. I'm, I'm watching The Revenant. I'm on Mount Everest, and yeah. I'm just beating my shit. Yeah. The Revenant? 
Not to the no, no it's just on. It's just, oh, I can look any direction. You I know want. exactly I, what's seen in the Revenant too. <laughs> the bear. <laughs> <laughs> we look at each other at the same time. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like we have reached the capacity of human experience. So it's like, okay, well, death is like the incomprehensible. Let's do that. I will say that I probably want to live a little more than it sounds like you. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You wound me. And I, I don't mean that as a slight. Uh, oh, I, that I, feels like one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's he cool. just has more going for him. He's a lot left to do. I, I, you know, I'm not done yet. You're married. I'm I see married, the ring. Yeah, that's I think cool. that's part of it. I, uh, you know, <laughs> she keeps you going. <laughs> My wife keeps like, me she's going. She's like a caretaker. Yeah, <laughs> she'd be she's sad like, if I died. So I guess yeah. I'll stay. That's the only reason. Uh, I, I, I think like, I don't know. I, I do feel like the community I'm in is is fairly positive. I, I don't know. I think like, do you think that your world is a little more? Like, like whatever this sphere is, is a little more like that or no? I, Positive. I think, I, I think what we get a lot is this idea of, uh, I think Prezo actually put it once, his great Twitter account, but he's also a human being, who has said <laughs> that this side of the internet is just a little more attention hungry. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that people that come from a not live stream environment as fans are, are, le- are more, more willing to just watch something and follow and just like enjoy their lives but the idea of a, a chat and like interacting makes them really just like <laughs> yeah cuz yeah. if you if you say to a brick wall like i love you you know it's not going to say anything back that's like tv but if sometimes yeah. the brick wall is like i love you too i think when you're talking about <sighs> not finding anything in the live streaming space that you really click with which i think is a general sentiment that the three of us share mm-hmm. is that the main appeal of getting involved in so many of these spaces is the community aspect and feeling like these are people I can talk to and be friends because we have this thing in common and maybe this big guy that we like on a screen that will acknowledge us and maybe there's a little bit of a vacuum of that in the rest of your life. So potentially, if that aspect (laughs) of your life is filled in other ways, you don't desire that as much. And I feel like young people are particularly vulnerable as you're coming up and you're, you're seeking... A way to like find yourself right. i feel like you're more likely to be attracted to a space like that right i do feel like there are a lot of D fans that cross a similar yeah maybe there is a lot of crossover with that i think just in terms of specifically the live streaming stuff like i i had i did twitch for like a second going into the pandemic kind of and so like i did it enough to like get partnered or whatever and then i was like realizing like oh i just feel like a substitute teacher who's being screamed at <laughs> and, and like just had a hard time creating any sort of boundary or whatever. And so I was like, I think I've done mostly. Yeah, yeah. You need to establish those boundaries with hard, hard evil. I have seen some of your streams. No way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is warms my heart. <laughs> do you think I do it good? Do you think I, I think do it right? You, you you have a firm hand. Wow. Would, your, would you say chat. maybe would you say that he's ever gone too far? I was like, well, I'm like, not that I would. I was like, this is not a space for me to ever say anything. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Oh, that's no. interesting. That's crazy. That's that's also his takeaway, as well like, as so many others. I'm and not gonna get into his it. reaction when somebody confronts him with this in person that that he appreciates and that he's yeah. like, is like, how could you think that? No, how could that be your There's, takeaway? Well, I think sometimes I think there was one where it was like someone who was just clearly like a sweetie who's just lost on the internet. Yeah, that you. I think you. I think you. Eviscerate. You think I went too far? <laughs> well, you know, you know what is the his his brain worm is that he imagines everyone in front of him. Okay. So like, if someone says to him like something on the internet, he just imagines they're right in front of him, and, what it, and the difference it would be if they said it to him. How right. Would, why would you say that? That's what I, I think, think. I think that makes sense because sometimes people don't realize what they're you know what the actual reality of what they're saying is, and maybe they should learn that. I think. Thank you. But, uh, I think I, I think I have sort of a substitute teacher energy of like, huh, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, yeah, you're, you're yeah. just a more of a human being. That's all. <laughs> you're just nice. well, you, you were mentioning that there's this funny phenomenon where because you play a D&D character, like yeah. often different ones, uh, people will be mad at you mm-hmm. for how you treat the character you play. Yeah. Because they are so connected to your character. It's- Wow. It is weird. I think like by and large people understand it and are are normal about it. But every now and then you will see a tweet that's like, how dare you treat Gorgug or whatever your character is <laughs> named uh, like that. And like what you like, I like they think they have the best interest in mind for your character when you're just kind of just, I don't know, 
it's your character. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's, you don't know what they're going to yeah, do tomorrow. Wild. Yeah, it's a very bizarre thing to parse. Well, I feel like... Yeah. Well, you know what I think is a big part of this this whole thing as well. I was thinking about someone left a comment on this. I read it a long time ago. It stuck with me, which was like, I and presumably you, you grew mm -hmm. up in the dirty South. Yeah. With mm -hmm. alligators, Birmingham, and such. Alabama. You were also yeah. dirty in the South. You dirty were filthy. We all think you were dirty. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have bath. You no, grew showers. up in a bog. Yeah. <laughs> on bog, they <laughs> call you four map. And <laughs> with the gators. And then with the gators, and they were your friends. My and house so, was a fan boat. The same <laughs> gators. The same gators they put in Hello Fresh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gator meat delivered to you on a fan boat if you live in the South. Please don't be the sponsor of this episode. I'm begging. <laughs> um, and so, but there's there's this concept of like when when, when I grew up, it was. 1840. Shame. Oh my god, shut up. There. Shame was uh, always food. And shame kind of kept you in line. And I think for better or for worse, mostly for better now, if you are kind of weird, or you're like neurodivergent, or you're just mm -hmm. kind of like, if you're someone who doesn't fit in or something, you can find an online community that says everything's okay and you're okay. Definitely. And that means also that telling the man on the screen that you love him is also okay. Because there's a lot of people that do that. Absolutely. So like yeah. there's this idea, there's a lack of shame that I try to I bring mm -hmm. on back. I try to pull from the past yeah. with a big chain and just like, you know, it's coming up from the swamp and I'm like, this is the shame cube. This is, this it. is for it's, you. It's the shame cube. Take a bite. Take a bite and chew it forever. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I do. What? That's what I do. You try to be, wait. So that's what we do. Uh, I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to get this shit. <laughs> I guess we're, yeah, I guess we're the same. Yeah, we're the same. Uh, so what is your interpretation of the shame cube? The shame cube, that's what I'm trying to understand. I think, like, well, like you're saying, a lot of these people who I think are, especially friends of D&D, &D, because it's a lot of, you know, not, like, straight white people in that world. And, like, you know, a lot of people who don't have a physical space where they're comfortable to be in. So I'm not necessarily dying to hit them with the shame cube. Is how <laughs> that I is a good point. point. <laughs> you know what? That is also interesting because yeah. every time I get a shitter comment on, like, Twitch or something, I just imagine them as a 15-year-old white male. Yeah. And I'm like, you are, you are the, someone I would like to shoot a laser at, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's obviously not the case. <laughs> yeah. You know, and right. not everyone's that. <laughs> yeah. Good clarification. <laughs> Just yeah. this guy. Yeah. <laughs> but I think there are people who are that, who maybe, maybe they need to get the shame flail. Shame, shame, shame. The shame mace, All the right. laser beam from shame yeah. space. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna ask uh, when you were finished PA and on on Key and Peel. Like, mm -hmm. is that when you made the jump to College Humor? Yeah, it was like the show was finishing up. Um, they were going off to make the. They made a movie Keanu before he made Get Out, and they were going off to do that. And I was just trying to get out of being an assistant. And I, at the time, I was also doing, like, I don't know if you know UCB, like the comedy theater in LA. Like, I was doing stuff there a lot. And was on like a sketch team and an improv team there. And through that was able to submit to College Humor because they were looking for new writers and got an interview and got hired. And so like it kind of just happened at the exact same time. And so, yeah, and that's that's how I made the leap to that world. Is yeah. everyone who is a PA in the industry just like a like no one wants to be getting sandwiches, right? No, it's it sucks. I mean, it's like. Well, it's like you want to get your foot in the door to be working on something that you think is cool, but then like you get on this production ladder that like if you are moved to LA or something because you want to be a writer or director or an actor or whatever, like it's good exposure to what that world is, but you're going up a ladder that leads to like managing productions. Right. And that that's not an easy jump to make away. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Do you feel like by working on YouTube, I feel like especially mm -hmm. especially maybe like five, five, ten uh years ago, working on YouTube. Uh, I remember Freddie Wong said this thing about their work, no matter what they did in this space, no, no matter how like amazing what they put together was, no matter mm -hmm. how great the VFX was, no matter how good the show was, if you said something was like a YouTube published show, you would be immediately written off. And this, he said this in like, I want to say on a podcast in like 2015, 16. Yeah. So not like that long ago. No, but and it, I was kind of wondering since that was so much of your career, if people still evaluate your work that way. Yeah, I think that's a that's a really interesting question because it's like, I think there was that stigma in that world of like you do YouTube stuff from like if you were trying to get a job on a TV show or in in more like yeah in that other world that's more traditional media like they the people who make those hiring decisions and make development decisions. That's very much in their heads of like, I don't under, really understand what that is, nor do I fully respect it in the same way as what I do. But I do think that's changing even in the last, yeah. you know, 
three or four we years. Can't, no, we can't. We can't give YouTubers Cause, more. Because <laughs> even the no. boomer, even the boomers know Mr. Bean now. Mr. Man. Bean is a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, Zach. <laughs> And yeah, yeah you are Mr. Beast, Mr. the two Beast. goats of yeah, YouTube. When Netflix goes, we're doing a Squid Game for real finally, and Mr. Beast ratios them like LMAO took a long time, losers. <laughs> yeah. Like they have to eat that. Like the marketing team at Netflix has to be like, we got ratioed by Mr. Beast. This is a yeah. meeting. You know what, though? It just takes one strong willed executive. Bless their hearts. Christ blessed all executives. <laughs> yeah, and I landlords. God, and God bless them in the way they negotiated. <laughs> yeah, and, and landlords. Those writers should have caved immediately, bro. <laughs> and you know what? It, one strong willed, light of Christ executive can just say, I don't care, and just keep doing what they're doing. Yeah. And that's funny. To me, that's really funny because it's really just <laughs> one guy being like, I don't really care about this ratio, plus, I'm not bald. And then <laughs> continues <laughs> going. They're not, yeah, they're just not online in the same way. So they don't feel being ratioed. They feel their yeah. $30 million yacht, you yeah. know? I and think when you're that old and a thread that you started has that many likes on someone else's tweet, you feel like it's your thread's yeah, you're likes. Like, mm -hmm. They like me. You're like, oh, look how many likes are in this world I started. All she, all she know is share price. Dude, the, this, you know what the, the ratio of old times was? You wrote your congressman. You'd write fucking letters, or yeah, you'd just, it'd be is angry that, moms. Why, is that like ratioing? No, yeah, it was like writing letters to TV stations. You watch a lot of old shit where they're like, <laughs> yeah, we had to change what we had to do because a bunch of moms got mad. They wrote us letters. <laughs> What's, yeah. These letters get to these people, and they're like, oh, and yeah. this is the ratio of old. Is yeah. like the goat ratio, like sending anthrax in an envelope? Like, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's your big ratio. That's the all-time ratio? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Al Qaeda tried that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what's your opinions on Al Qaeda? <laughs> awesome, they're really great. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer their older work, but I think they can survive in the age. I, th I think they can still make it happen on YouTube. <laughs> I actually have a situation in the Middle East I'd like you to speak on right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you think of YouTube in the middle, you know. <laughs> dude, there was this uh, cafe in France. When we were there. It was just said ISIS cafe. And I was like, oh, they turned a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff I imagine named ISIS that was like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, like Ice Spice, yeah, yeah. her real name. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's oh, it's humans' names. There's Archer, the company at Narcher. It was, um, there's a post hardcore band called ISIS. I think they kept it though. It's a type that's, of flower. That's, <laughs> that's a tough <laughs> SEO. That's just, yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh, come come on. On. <laughs> Yeah, like the international series of uh, inspired. Someone's. I'm, I'm imagining. I'm they're imagining so mad. <laughs> I love that event. They're, the like, <laughs> they're, they're like, fuck, we're we're competing now. Yeah. I'm imagining telling like your 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 mom is like, no, we just posted a music video, and then she sees like a beheading. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and like, What's oh, you don't know, you got the second one. Oh, it was oh, nice. nice. <laughs> it was nice. I support you, bud. <laughs> Art comes in many forms. Dude, I, it was like it's like my friend uh, Lee. He was born on 9/11. And when I met him, yeah. you know, you get to know someone. He's like, oh, when's your birthday, man? He's like, 9-11. And I'm like, yeah. ooh. I had a friend who was uh, supposed to give birth on 9-11. Did she hold they, off? They held off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, they, you, you held it in? Or I, think, I think they made it happen before. I, I forget exactly what it was, but it would, through great physical stress, their baby was not born. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. You might be able to clutch that, though. If someone's like, yeah. what's your birthday? It's like September uh, 12th. Oh, no, no, day before. <laughs> <laughs> and they might not have enough oh, time. Okay. <laughs> cool, day before. Nice. Cool. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> they're like, waiting like at night later, and they're like, <laughs> wait a second. I it's almost like, forgot. Uh, what if, what if in 9-11 it was just instead called like, because instead of Osama bin Laden, his name was Anthony Bruno. You know, it was it was called Kyle Day. Yeah, it was, it was Kyle Day. It was Zach Oyama's wild ride. <laughs> and you're just like, you're just like, how old would you be? You're like 15. You're like, come on. <laughs> it's like Zach Oyama. Yeah. <laughs> like you just roll bad sometimes. Yeah. And Do you have anyone named did. your name that you don't like that beats you in any way? Like. No, you don't think there's not a Nick out there? Who's... Oh no, Nick for sure. I think like my full. Yeah, your full name. There, full I saw name. that there was a like 16 year old lacrosse player in Canada with my name, and I've does he could just like gap him. you in all <laughs> metrics? <laughs> I keep tabs on him. I'm like just making sure he's not going pro and. I don't know. I guess not lacrosse. D&D &D &D lacrosse. Yeah. Dude, you <laughs> should start suck. a yeah. smear campaign. Like, this you should fucking sucks. his life up. <laughs> I, I, uh, I haven't kept tabs on it in a minute. I think he must have just quit and just 
Fade it away. Yeah. <laughs> He's killed him. I bet he quit, fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> Get good. Our old boss, Ken Chen, he was always, he always complained because he was like, I'm not even the most famous Ken Chen from my school. There was another guy oh. named Ken Chen who, like, invented Blue Apron. <laughs> And he's like brutal, he, way more important than I yeah. am, you know. So there's an Anthony Bruno. He's a novelist. He's I read Damn. one of his books. That's tough. Yeah, they're mm. shitty though, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> like if I if I got my shit together, I gap them. I just have to write a better novel. I have to write him. a better crime novel about like an FBI agent. That's what his was about. If there was the a... exact same genre. <laughs> yeah, just like what's up, bitch. <laughs> if there was a Zach Oyama in like TV, would you do one of those stage names where you're like? Zachary L. Oyama. I think if I was starting up, I would. Now it's too late. Now I just will be loser. Like I will just, I'll just be worse. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, <laughs> I'll accept old, that. Bro, I'll you know? be fine. It'll be all right. I'll I, just hang out. Yeah. I, I haven't checked up on my namesake in a while, but the last, oh, like right. when I was looking, uh, in in college, the only other Aiden McKaig was like a British teenager. <laughs> <laughs> who who had a who had an Instagram account with no photos on it? Oh, dude, okay. I'm thinking of Eamon. Yeah. The, the his we, what we call oh, him. Yeah, Eamon. Eamon, the guy he he was he defected. Oh yeah, so Eamon Eamon was there. They they have a nickname for me, Eamon. Okay, and uh, there I decided to look up somebody. I was like, are there any famous people with this name? There's one guy who was a part of Al Qaeda. <laughs> this is true. Was, this is all true. Was caught. Turned double agent for MI6, did work for them, is done doing that, is like a public speaker now, and then became anti-vax. <laughs> and you know what? Before all that, he worked at College Humor, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Really Amen. Guy. You know him? He was... <laughs> He's on the branded team, right? Yeah. <laughs> anti-vax. Yeah. Dude, Andy. if you don't know about Factor right now and you watch The Yard... <laughs> doing <laughs> <laughs> we do we do talk about it a lot because it's the only thing keeping nick yingling alive yeah, yeah without factor he would be a he would be a skeleton walking this earth just just moaning and going uh. he's kind of on it three day three meals a day right now he's on it nick nick yingling eats out of box like he's a yan the fall season <laughs> always gets busy don't let it overwhelm you factor is fresh and never frozen meals just ready in just two minutes you get nutritious chef prepared meals delivered straight to your door and your mouth that's a quick munch that's a that's quick, a quick, quick, quick munch yan would love it <laughs> if yeah. you're a, and if you're a munch <laughs> factor. the ice spice factor uh meal exclusive they make a hundred of them. It's yeah. called the Munch Pack. The Munch, munch pack. pack. And you Dude, just it's one of their 34 meal choices per week with 45 plus weekly add-ons. You get bacon cheddar egg bites. You get potato. We need to get some new ones up in here on the list. But here, what were you gonna say, Moss? I was just gonna say if you're swamped by postcards, you got work like Nick Yingling, you can just, you can slam one of these guys in. They got your macros taken care of. Oh yeah. They do have macros. Which I was, I was actually make, thinking, like, I always say Nick Yingling's been looking good off the factor, but when he came on the show, I was like, he's actually, I was noticing. He's, he's cracked it off the yeah, factor. Yeah, he's, he's looking, he's looking mm -hmm. grussled. If you want to look, if you want to look snatched like Nick Yingling, you can head to factormeals.com slash the yard 50 and use code the yard 50 to get 50% off your first box. Uh, <laughs> you also get a VHS copy of Nick Yingling's audition for America's Next Top Model. He did not get in. He did not get in, he, and, but that was before Factor, so he's going to audition Factor, again this so year, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and so. He's going to meet crack. Tyra Banks and finally give her a piece of his mind. He shouldn't give up on that dream. No, yet. he shouldn't. Not yet. yet. He's still got a good hairline. He'll look beautiful when he's 40. That's America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, Factor. Factormeals.com slash yard50. Quit Let's, playing around. Just don't stop playing around, you know? It's time to get serious. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, College Humor was sick. I feel like that, like, like for a while, I was like, I, this is what I want to do. They're the tastemakers. Yeah. You watch a College Humor, you're like, finally, someone who, like, gets it, you know? Jake, yeah. and, Jake and Amir was everything for a while. They're, they, they're great. They still, they still are doing it, you know? They have their own podcasting studio and all that, and they, like... It's their yeah. their their creative partnership seems really nice that they get mm. to like continue it's something like this I guess continuing to be buds while having like a great company and all that. What well, yeah. how did all of this change by the way? Because I noticed I I went to look it up before you came here today. I was I noticed yeah. the channel is Dropout now. Yeah, that but happened super like recently. A new yeah, yeah, company right. So I think a couple like five years ago, Dropout like they launched Dropout, which is like their subscription service thing. That's like. Uh, you know, uh, kind of pivoting away from the YouTube world. 
uh and also i don't really understand youtube so i'm probably getting something wrong um and that uh so they started focusing on that and that's where the D D show came from dimension 20 and then game changer and all these other things that they're currently still doing uh so the, the they still had the youtube channel but like the brand it didn't re- like college humor did not quite it was sort of just like it's chuggy bro yeah it was like old feeling a little like the old roots of it were way like frattier i guess than what it became and so that still exists but uh but i think dropout became popular enough that they were like college humor is kind of dead so we old, have this old college humor yeah. is very like boobs in thumbnail equal views yeah, yeah. 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 i read yeah, a sketch POV called series. this thumbnail is a butt and it's just about like i don't know this it's pitching the idea Dude, of like even, the thumbnail is a butt even but, yeah. like old Derek comedy shit bro the spelling bee are yeah. you kidding me? Oh, fucking yeah. bro I forgot Are you that. kidding me? Yeah, I there's a really tough that. time of <laughs> internet comedy that is just like, you can't even really it <laughs> just, like, touch you it. You drop that today yeah. and it's like, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're, done. <laughs> yeah. you're the guy in Call of Duty. Let's yeah. bring it back. <laughs> bring it back? Yeah, let's bring it back. We yeah. can make it fashionable if again. If everyone thought like you, we would just have to redo <laughs> the next 10 years. No, no, because it would cancel out. <laughs> This is zeros. I think I, I think I was fourteen. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. When mm-hmm. college humor removed the cool sound at the end of the videos, they're like, oh, oh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Everyone <laughs> that has worked there has to do it well. It just it, know it, when it wakes is. up. <laughs> it's like this creepy gesture <laughs> that's like looks like the Joker that was at the end of every video, and it's like I'm being naughty, kind of. <laughs> and it was just sort of, I don't know. Uh, it was one of the. It was like the first time I was like. These fucking fakes. No. These fakes. It was the same part of my brain that was mad when YouTube removed cool banners. Yeah, I was like, just, just imitations. Or like when Smosh changed their intro. What it's happened, like, dude? Sh- shut up. Oh, I said shut up. Real. That, that was an accident. That was, that was an accident. Though. I was like, oh, that was uh, cute. But I was like, I, I don't know. We all get used to it eventually. But I was just like, that was, that's like, that's part of you. That's you. You're removing the you from this. Yeah, I get it. And I was like, I never want to do that to myself. But I've probably uh, done it a million mm-hmm. times. They're making a subscription service. It sounds like it sounds exactly like Cross Counter TV, which is a famously successful uh, platform run by a well, famous heard of it, right? run by a guy. So, I've definitely heard of it before two seconds ago. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know Gutex? Uh, <laughs> no, he's like he's like maybe our most precious esports legend. Do you know <laughs> okay. do, do you know PogChamp? I've heard PogChamp. I yeah. Guess. Do you know what PogChamp looks like? It's a little emote, right, of a guy. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, th- wait, they changed it, right? This is they did this change is like, it. They did, oh but my God. unrelated, they changed it. Changed but unrelated it. to Gutex and his ideology. <laughs> I forgot yeah. they. It was actually just a, it was time. <laughs> yeah, now it's an alligator, him which you would like. Him and Eamon have so a lot really in common. Now, <laughs> <laughs> and and it's not that they were double agents for MI6. <laughs> 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 no, it just sounded funny because what you described, and I just remember Cross Counter, which was this platform that was like subservice, but it was really terribly run. But mm-hmm. everyone's. I'm not saying that is terribly yeah. run, but everyone's doing that now. Yeah, Linus, yeah. Tech Tips is doing it. Everyone's just, uh, what was it? Fucking Tiny Meat Gang. They mm. dropped Patreon and they just did their own, their like, own Patreon. One? Oh, it's because true. Patreon's cut was too, which is, well, I don't know why they that did it. It was pretty it. involved to, like, start your own. Th- I guess if you are rich and powerful enough, you can do it. But it's, I, I feel like a lot of people are very successful on Patreon and don't mind that level of cut, <laughs> but I don't know. Dude, Patreon's oh. good to us. I'll, yeah. I'll say it. Oh, you like Patreon? I like Patreon. We like Patreon. <laughs> you, you guys should all join it and give oh, us. Oh shit! What's up? Yo. A, mid, a middle of the show plug. We've never done that in like a hundred <laughs> episodes. It's true. Yeah, we. I feel like we should do it more. We probably should. Someone got mad. Right. Someone on the subreddit was like, "Fucking, they don't do the plug anymore." Do it's it. like, don't you want that? You know, we should, want? We should find that guy. They wanted you to do the plug. Crazy. They're like, they don't care anymore. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? That's cool. We, we should need print to out a, chill more. We should print yeah. out a picture of that guy's yeah. face and then put it only in the shed. So he has to pay to see what we do with it. Ooh. And we draw on his face all the time, put dicks on it. Like, Welcome to Machu Picchu, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Soaring above it, <laughs> jacking off. <laughs> um, do, you, do you have any... Because uh, I, I, I feel like Dimension 20 has gotten so much bigger than everything else related to dropout that's my general yeah. feeling as an outsider is there any like misgivings from like people who are involved or like started dropout that like dimension 20 is like th- i don't know that's like a bigger name and brand than the rest of everything i feel like so yeah it's gotten a lot bigger i think uh i think game changer is also still very popular but those are like kind of the two bigger shows on it uh and i just think that has everything to do with D being weirdly popular and also i think they did a lot of like during 
it, you know, it was a thing before quarantine and all that. But like during that time, did a lot of TikTok stuff that I think made it a lot popular. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the sound when your rogue shits his pant. I don't know how it works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. Wait, yeah. You don't know how TikTok works or how D and D works or <sighs> which one did you? I feel like I was pretty close. I that is a type of TikTok. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's weird. I think I think it's funny to me because. My roots at, at working at that place and, and everyone who is really on Dimension 20 and that sort of core cast of it are comedy writers that kind of fell into D&D. &D. So it is like kind of weird to just suddenly so much of my job for, is now playing D&D. &D That's And sick. did not expect that. You know? yeah. Did they call it a, a dropout even expect that? Were they expecting the show to do as well as it did? I can't imagine they yeah. were expecting I feel like that. even with like Critical Role, from what I've heard, yeah. it was just like, oh my God, what's going on? Don't yeah. change nothing. Yeah. Change nothing because it's working and that's crazy. And we're <laughs> going to keep they're doing They're just it. a behemoth now. Like they have like th three TV, two or three TV shows or something. And then Wait, they have TV shows. I don't know. Yeah, they have. So they kickstarted an animated show based off of their like first campaign. And they're all like pro professional voice actors before they did D&D &D stuff. And oh, that's so, such a buff. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. And so they all, their whole, th like their whole, uh, hook at the start was just like they can do all like fantasy voices perfectly and so they're doing that and that's sort of the hook and then so now that they're super popular they did a kickstarter that they were hoping to get like I don't know like 500,000 something like that and they got 10 million dollars oh my and god they <laughs> and then they went to like studios and stuff or I don't I don't know actually what the middle step was but they partnered with Amazon who matched their budget and then they have like a 20 million dollar animated two seasons of an animated no, show yeah. and then they did a different animated show off their other we're often yeah. making similar deals I we're, didn't know they were this is yeah. big yeah we make big deals yeah. so, uh, like so that. proposition for we're you big. Prop we're not this is so we're not talking about us so maybe this becomes an animated I, show I yeah. have had the passing thought as we've started the deal obviously there's like an incredibly long way to go but looking at the ceiling of D&D &D shows even in comparison to podcasting in general there's like this chance that us doing a D&D &D show like supersedes the normal show that we're doing it now. It can happen. Yeah. I'm and not going to do it. I'm not going to be a D&D, &D bro. <laughs> just I'm a, quit I'm fucking, halfway through the I'm first I'm a game. banter lord through and through. <laughs> I am not going to be D &D a fucking... Is D&D not just banter? Yeah. No, it's not. It it's is. It's like, oh, I'm a paladin. It's yeah. a... It's, what? Well, <laughs> is, that, is that not what running a bit is in a way? I'm the goon commander. I will I'm say I'm the goon commander paladin <laughs> <laughs> and I cast my spear to the lord time. incel of the team uh, <laughs> I, I think what the misconception for D&D &D, I think is that it's almost like anything it's a media like it's like uh, the content of what it is can literally be anything so like we did a campaign that's like we're it, people modern day in New York and like we're not there's not fantasy races and, and you're not in like Lord of the Rings or whatever there's real ones so there's real ones, yeah. If did, you if that hits you your stuff, that? they did no. Grand Torino. Okay? <laughs> Grand I played Tor Clint Eastwood. <laughs> no, and I, I rolled a nat twenty to get the kids off my lawn, <laughs> and I got riddled with. <laughs> that one went over super well with the with the D and D heads. Yeah, they no. loved it. They loved my politics and my <laughs> general demeanor there. Why yeah. are you doing this to Clint Eastwood? How dare you? <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing real D and D live from Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> where it's one to one with real life and we make up the rules it's it's like IRL streaming and yeah. <laughs> sleeping people in the street as your D &D character I'm playing the knockout game with a, a dice so a proposition for you so you because uh, you have nothing going on you come to our D&D &D show okay and you are uh, we replace Aiden Okay. With yeah. you. Wait. And so he got it. So he's Perfect. the chair that he would sit in. <laughs> that sounds you. good. No, I'm and on board. You no longer We're all on board. You, know, you make a big announcement. You're no longer doing D20 ever again. Yeah. And they're all pedophiles. And they are and all. The, yeah. And that's why you don't want that's to work with them anymore. Well, yeah. that's my announcement. Well, that's why I quit. I quit <laughs> first and then say, by the way. By the way, everyone that was pedophiles. is over. Yeah. Yeah. BLM is <laughs> over party. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about that? Uh, did that did ever make it through? What? That, that, that we, <laughs> we what make it through? So so, <laughs> okay, so, so when we when we were starting our show, when we were starting our D and D show. 
Uh, we reached out to Brendan Lee Mulligan to be okay. our DM, who yeah, yeah. did not respond. Just ghosted, bro. So we, He's br- not so, very online. So Brennan Lee yeah. Mulligan, we started very quickly a campaign of our own called BLM is over. Party. <laughs> uh, and, like, and we were going to uh, fame. Talk about having the name ISIS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we were trying to spread the word that we, ha- we are putting a stop to, oh my God. to BLM. <laughs> No. In all of the fake worlds that <laughs> it, 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 he has created. Yeah. <laughs> sort of the fake news of it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it, yeah. it's rain of terror ass and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> God, I can't wait to just have like a 10 minute primer to explaining this to him later. <laughs> Good. He's like, so it's called the internet. <laughs> and they're on it? They're inside of it? You know, he, I, yeah, he, he, I was a little bit... Uh, that the idea starstruck me because that is one of the videos I saw was him doing, he's like the ad executive in these sketches where the CEO, the sketches. CEO yeah, ones. Yeah. And there was one where it's like, um, edible tide shit, the tide pots. Yeah. And he gets yeah, yeah. getting handed like yeah, delicious, yeah. you know, tide pots and his acting is so good. He's so good in that sketch. That was, um, uh, I've, we had a conversation we talked about, about that. Yeah. Where it's like, we're just talking about the writing process and sometimes you bring in an idea and it's not quite like, just like one little tweak really sells it. And that was one where he was like, just the original idea I think was just telling people to not do it. Uh, But then someone was like, it should be that there are more products that are worse and worse that, that, you know, the CEO's response is like, Oh, we're fucked. And he performs it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Did you write that? I didn't. Well, you know, it's funny. I wrote a Tide Pod sketch when the first kind of craze of Tide Pod, I think kind of predated it a little bit. Uh, I didn't start it. I think there was someone else who like had made the joke before, but uh, around the time people were really doing that, I written a sketch <laughs> just kind of going through my thoughts of like, God, it just looks good. Yeah, I, remember, I, remember, yeah. I remember this. Yeah. I watched I watched that sketch because it was before that. Yeah, it was before yeah. the trend became really big. That's and, huge. Yeah. And then when the trend happened, I was like, this is hilarious. This was a college humor sketch like two years ago. <laughs> it was like yeah. I was just driving around one day and there was a commercial that was like, Tide Pods are great but you should keep them out of reach for your kids because <laughs> they definitely look like candy, you know? <laughs> you have insane yeah. foresight. That's, yeah. that's some Jungian shit, right? That's the collective identity of all mm. people in the mm-hmm. world being like, those are yummy looking. Yeah. yeah. And we all together just to that. did yeah. it, you know? I, yeah, they had to like put a, um, like an age restriction on the video because they were worried. <laughs> <laughs> just having them looking yeah. delicious. This is sweet. before YouTube made you, uh, Clarify this is for kids or not. You're really? Oh. He, you're a merchant of death. Oh. You were probably <laughs> you're just like <laughs> one with others. Yeah. You know what? I never thought about it. Dumping. Yeah. So you, you, so you think that zero yeah. kids tried Tide Pods because of your work? You think the answer is zero? Huh. Because uh, <laughs> you don't even think that's unlikely. Like, don't I you think, think that at least one has like seriously think, been injured? <laughs> or like just dead, at least one. Or like a dead I kid. One somewhere. human life. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've really just not confronted that until this moment. Oh. I've assumed probably not. <laughs> That's cushy. Yeah. You start breaking huh. down. <laughs> what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I do think, I, I guess so. I don't know. I guess I'm responsible That's for people's That's the thing about death. writers. We're heroes. All right. We take the risks and yeah. things happen because we're brave with our art. Yeah. That's what you and me do. Wow. I, I, I put a, I did try one in the video that is like, they, that the production designer oh. made a fake one that had icing and it was like he wrapped it with perfectly with this kind of uh, not edible wrap i had to spit out the like plastic of it but it was super satisfying to bite into. <laughs> yeah it it's like a gusher it's like kind of the same concept mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. you got you got the closure that those kids never got yeah yeah Just well trend. death well, is they, closure <laughs> in, a, in a way the void, the void is closure. i mean it's the final closure i think there were worse That's uh, fun. attributors to it actually <laughs> I should clarify. I think I think if like like people say you know you got the click remote like I I would probably just do shit like that. I'd be like yummy. Oh, I just go back. Yeah, go I didn't back. do it. Yeah. Before before the before the chemicals take you, you just yeah, yeah. rewind. But yeah, you had a you had an idea for for old G old G over here. Oh yeah, I was uh, what was I doing? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what the, the, the D twenty. They're all. Sex oh, so, so everyone at Dimension 20 is All pedophile. All my closest friends are pedophiles. Well, yes. I'm not yeah. making that part yeah. up. I'm, yeah. I'm <laughs> asking you to expose that. Because I've watched yeah. the show. Wait, what? And yeah. they're clear... I thought, you were, I thought you were coming toward the bit that we had planned, but you okay. are trying to get to the bottom of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, what, you don't care? This I, is I investigative care journalism? I thought this a bunch was of adults get in a room play as elves. We're not supposed to be concerned? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm concerned. Okay. I, I, I think elves are a beautiful thing that don't necessarily equate to... Uh, to being a <laughs> elves are old. That's I, mm, honestly right. El- elves this, are this is baby boomer mentality. Hey everyone, Mint Mobile is the sponsor of today's podcast, uh, and you're Zach Oyama, but Australian. Yeah, so oh. corporate didn't like the other guy, so it's me time now. <laughs> wow. right, we got a call from Ryan Reynolds, and he said, "Get the guy who's over the age of thirty-five out." Yeah, we we can't get the guy who wears exclusively only American <laughs> uh, flag shorts for seven days straight. We need him instead. <laughs> This they is smell good. crazy. This oh. is good for the Mint Mobile brand. You know, that's you know what, what it smells crazy. crazy. The scent of Mint Mobile. <laughs> you know, you know why I don't is. know what it is, but I think it could help me in my shorts. You know why it could actually help you and why you're good for this? Is because when Miles comes to America, oh, it's yeah. tradition for him to lose dude. his phone. Oh my god, and if, dude. if Miles had a Mint Mobile plan, oh. it would be so cheap that if he lost his phone, it actually wouldn't be a big deal. And you never have data. You don't have data, and you could be paying $15 <laughs> a month. You're for telling good. you what it is. He always says it's so expensive. It, it's Mint so Mobile is $15 it's not, a month. It says $15 right there. It hasn't changed in years. <laughs> and I can lose in my phone years. if I want. And yes. we can't get a hold of you. We can't get a hold of you because you don't pay for a plan it's, while you visit us. It's actually all true. Josh is the exact same way. I might hook Josh up when he gets here, but yeah, it's unlimited talk and text, high-speed data this on the nation's largest 5G network. So... So your Australian friend doesn't have to say, "Hey, could you hotspot me?" <laughs> <laughs> could you, could, hey, OG, could I get a hotspot? I literally, I could, <laughs> you can say no. You can say no. It's like I, I no. changed my hotspot password <laughs> to "I am Australian" the sentence <laughs> because I realized I only ever use it in that context when I have an Australian friend here, and they could just be paying fifteen dollars a month for Mint Mobile. And, mintmobile.com uh, slash yard cut your wireless bill to just fifteen dollars a month, or get a one if you don't have one already, like Miles, which is crazy. To, li- <laughs> to live that way. Just even even a two G data, so you could send fuck. So you could get the. You don't even need high speed data. I, my, I just need to uh, find. I just need to know that you are well and safe. That's I got my two Gs oh. right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was using wow. before. Oh, yes, and that's mintmobile.com slash the yard. yard. But I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to bring up our project. We have a project. Yeah. So we. So we. You're an actor. Sure. Yeah. Actor. And you're, and you're yeah. a writer. Yeah. Uh, you're more things than Aiden will ever be potentially. That's true. That's right. so true, Nick. So we look to you. I don't understand why it's. We look to you kind yeah. of like a North Star in some ways because oh, we're because wow. we are, uh, you know, we're somewhere between those things, but not quite any of those things at the same time. You're between worlds. And so we, mm-hmm. you know, we've been working on a project mm-hmm. um, that uh, I haven't told you about yet because I didn't feel like it was ready. Okay. Um, but we want to bring that product to you now and kind of get your opinions on it. It's a uh, it's a story. Okay. Right. What was the what was the genre of ours? It was the like jo- medium high fantasy. Medium. It was like medium. Oh, medium. Yeah. Right. Uh, story. Story. Words. Well, TV or like the what? medium uh, mine, is words. Mine is a mine is a world building. We are building a world. We're okay. not sure where to put it yet. We want. We're not. We're between. It could be a book. Lit. It could be a movie. We're, it could be a we're goddamn book, a movie, or a, or okay. a television show. And we yeah. want. So for, I think what our uh, idea was is that we would do a table read. Okay. Um, and we would just kind of <laughs> randomly cast you. Um, so random, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I could play, kind of get a script. Yeah, sure. Well, I mine's, I misunderstood the assignment. My mine is more of a you misunderstood our show we've been writing. Yeah, but I wrote sort of like a a novelization. Do you have one of those? I have one of these. You printed one for wait, our table wait, read. Did you guys send yeah. me stuff? What are you talking about? It's not about? a table read. Wait, did, were you guys supposed to write stuff too? Or was it just me? It was you. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> did you write just your lines? No, I just wrote... <laughs> what I, did you make? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you've ruined I, the bit. We'll, just, we'll get there. I have fucked, we'll get I have there. fucked it up. You've ruined the bit. But what did you do? I wrote a... But what, what is basically <laughs> an introduction to... Do you know a, how many times I messaged you this weekend? Like, hey, yeah. hey I'm down that to help. That makes so much sense. I was like, why does he need... Why do we need to work together on this? I thought we were all going to... I didn't wow. properly interpret this. Is awful. this. No, it's not awful. Because I explained is, the idea so yeah, clearly. I, I fucked up. You did. But this, I will say, it was, guys, it was explained clearly. This is hot okay. fire. I will say, so like, how do we engage with this? So what is this? I don't, I don't even know, know what, what this is anymore. He has to read it. We are in Slime's weird world. I You're know. just giving him a monologue? Uh, yeah. And so he is doing a monologue, and we are listening. We're not in the character, we're not in the world, we're not characters. Yeah, that's way worse, isn't it? I can't it? believe you wrote me a monologue, and the first thing you said when I got onto this podcast was, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. 
<laughs> is there room for us to be characters in between his lines? Not really, no. I wow. thought we were all going to do this and this is... share. Oh, God. I fucked it up. So unprofessional. I... <laughs> do whatever you want. It's your, your world now. Okay, well. <laughs> is there any way I can help with this? Well, I think. Maybe this is why we need him. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. I want you to take what I've written, right. my, my beautiful prose, and I want you to think of this world that we've built yeah. as you read it. Okay, this is a high fantasy world, two rogue mercenaries. Should we let him read through it first, or should he go line no, by line? No, he's going to read it line by line. Okay. And I want you to read, it's just a page, it's not okay. very long, and it's, it's about <laughs> two guys. To me, uh, we obviously haven't heard this. <laughs> me and me and I, Aiden. They have actually have it. Yeah, I, have I, no, I, I, I actually. It's so funny because we were we were going to we were going. It's to about play, two guys play off yeah. that we didn't know what was it's going on. It's about two guys. One of them's, named, don't know what's one going one of them's on. named Jack. The other guy doesn't have a line. And the other it's, guy's it's, name is Sline with an N. So it's just a fictional Jack and Sline. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. So that's so it's kind not. Of, those right. like two fictional guys yeah. in the world. Right. Uh, two mercenaries have been. Looking all night at a at a nice big juicy take because they're uh, also burglars. Okay. Okay. They're and mercenary you burglars. And you just I want you to read it out in your narrative. Apply your lens because we're looking to enhance what we've created. I'm back to the hypothetical. Thank you. Uh, and so I need you to sort of do this honestly. Don't fuck with us. We're trying okay. to do a fucking show here. I don't I don't fuck with you. <laughs> no, don't. That'd be rude. Listens for once. That's good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you could just not be rude and just do this. Okay. The yeah, best you I can. guess I've been really fucking rude. Uh, <laughs> are we I'm ready? Glad you we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. So I should just read this whole thing. Just okay. and, please, and don't get feedback until it's over. Because yeah, I think it, you need the full arc of the story to really understand right, what we're going yeah, for. Yeah. Chirping up. The story the circle. The full story a, of the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, so it goes right. to eight. Ready? Yes. yes <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's too cold, said Jack, his cow whipping in the night wind. The bowstring he held taut did not waver. However, as he kept his arrow drawn on his faraway target, a young stable leaning a young stable st hand. Okay, a young stable hand leaning against the wall of the farmhouse only minutes away from do What? Those oh, oh, what the far fuck away are you from doing? his from, from on his faraway target. A young stable hand leaning against the wall of a farmhouse only minutes away from dozing off to sleep. Did you say something? Sline said, emerging from the trees and adjusting his belt. I was just having a crazy three-way with two elf women for like three hours. <laughs> I know, said Jack. I'm right here. I could hear everything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How's the stakeout going? It's... <laughs> what? Oh, it... <laughs> Did you just read the fucking... It's no, no feedback until the end. Interrupted. Is that your small cold penis? Slime pointed, <laughs> Slime pointed to Jack's meat hanging from his tunic, exposed to the night air, but also fleeing back toward the warmth of his body, <laughs> flanked on each side by two extremely tiny balls. Slime thought they two, might sorry, be. Sorry, two what? <laughs> you say you kind of. Kind of. He flanked line. on each side by two extremely tiny balls. <laughs> Slime thought they might be. <laughs> Slime might might, might thought. <laughs> So I thought they might be the co smallest, coldest balls he's ever seen in his whole life. Yes, it's freezing. In a, far, in a way, they looked like three balls. <laughs> because the penis was so small. Right. Slime so began to think that the cold air, while of course having some influence, was a negligible factor in the size or lack thereof of... Zach's <laughs> genital package, not Jack in this That's document. Typo. Oh, it says it on there? Yeah, That's yeah. It. It's close to the J. It's close to J on That's the keyboard. That's my fault. Typo. It's close to the That's J. Not really. Oh, he has Dvorak, uh -huh. different keyboard yeah. layout. <laughs> yeah, you have a weird keyboard. Okay, great. Uh, that's crazy, Slyne said, mostly to himself. <laughs> Want to get this show on the road? Gladly. Jack, now with the J. Release that's the not arrow. in the script. Don't not read that. Not in the script. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not to be read. It flew into a silent professional arc. Into the navy blue night, a precision, uh, a precision learned through an entire lifetime of practicing archery and getting zero elf strange. <laughs> <laughs> Not even during Arrow College or anything like that. <laughs> he went to a party <laughs> at Arrow College too. <laughs> kind of insane, actually. That's the amazing. arrow landed per uh, perfectly, symmetrically into the skull of the young stable hand, who had dozed off moments earlier. His body remained against the wall, limp and dreamless. 
Jack and Slyne made their way down the hill to the stable, stopping at the corpse. <laughs> Whoa, Jack, look! Slyne, uh, Slyne had maneuvered the stable hand's overalls to reveal another set of extremely small genitals. So desecrating a dead body. Uh, possibly tied for the all-time record of Jack's impossibly small three of a kind. <laughs> Are you related to this guy? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Wait, hold on. From the top of that line, please. <laughs> Possibly tied for the all-time record of Jack's impossibly small three of a kind. Are you related to this guy? Jack rolled his eyes. Let's get... Wait. Turn him over. <laughs> Slime did so, and, and Jack's eyes grew wide. This is Aiden John Ian McCaig. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bisexual son of an extremely powerful duke. He also shit all over his pants and really tiny balls. <laughs> Probably when he got shot in the head with your arrow. That's super embarrassing. The night air subsided. <laughs> Jack's extremely tiny and weird nuts and wiener attempted to dangle in the silence. What? But we're simply unable to physically do so <laughs> because of their size. Because they're too small. They were too small. <laughs> we're dead men walking. And see. Wow. wow. So what do you think of our story? God. Um, <laughs> I, have a, I have some thoughts. Okay. Uh, well, first off, I like... It's coming, our first venture into fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... Uh, it's a cool... It's like a... It, you're jumping right, it's sort of in median res, you know, these people are in the middle of something, you don't really know what. I think, I think you could play with the idea of not knowing what he's going to do to the target. <laughs> okay. You know, okay. Like, yeah. they're out there for some reason, it's like, it's a oh. go time, like, what, what are we, kind of build some narrative it's tension like about what advice, the, actually. what this, what this is at all, you know, like, um... Could play with that. Um, <laughs> do you think that really when the viewer yeah. knows that its name is Aiden, John, Ian McKeg, mm -hmm. don't you think that's like maybe too much of a give of what's going to be happening here? Or well, I well I'm I guess I guess I'm slightly confused as to why the son of an extremely powerful duke is working at the stable. Yeah, um, so I was gonna cover yeah. that. But I was like, then it'd be too long. It's kind of yeah. a, I think it's kind of supposed to be like a Mao thing, you know, yeah, yeah. bring out the city kids to the, yeah. to the farms. Yeah. I think, I think what, what you should be wondering, like if the audience has a question, mm. you should at least answer it or, or at least allude to, you know, that they have the question. I have a question. Yeah. I have a yeah. question. Yeah. Why does the stable hand have my full legal name? <laughs> Dude. You're asking me? We're in the middle of something. Yeah. You're asking me? We all worked on this. Yeah. I mean, it's just, in, names don't matter, you know? You're just, it's just right, We're using it as a placeholder name, because we have, like, rough inspiration of where we're yeah. drawing the character from, but we don't know what to call right. him yet. Well, yeah, I think the other, the other two main characters, that's mm. locked. That's locked? It's like a clear, yes. like... I would just got one small thing, it doesn't even really matter. Clean up the typos. Maybe not a Zach, maybe a Jack, right? You know, yeah, that that's, there. you know what? That's sloppy on yeah. our part. That's on me, that's and sloppy. I feel embarrassed, yeah. because it's this typo. And I brought it to a pro, and I said, you know, this is my yeah. best foot forward. You know, you just sometimes, if you want to show your work to somebody, you want to lock that stuff That's up. That's my fault, yeah. Uh, I'm also intrigued by the idea of Arrow College. Like, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think, you know, as you fill out this world, you might want to expand on, like, what it means to go to Arrow College. You know, the fun thing about yeah. our story is it actually began with Arrow College, and everything was built around the idea. Yeah. yeah. We, we kind of fell in love with what that might mean and mm -hmm. what Arrow College is. We were watching totally. American Pie. Yeah, 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 because they're all trying to get laid before they go to Arrow College. And <laughs> right, yeah, you they, understand. They have a pact. They have a yeah. pact to the yeah. next step. And one, one fucks some Limbus bread, because <laughs> <laughs> it You heard it's like exactly like... I actually just want <laughs> high fantasy super bad, now that I'm thinking yeah. about it, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm interested in that. You know, I'm wondering, uh, as you... <laughs> There's sort of obviously sort of different races and uh, and and sort of like everyone has sort of f different physical attributes. <laughs> yeah, in the fantasy world, we're trying to be inclusive in our story. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm wondering, like, just you let me know uh, how much of a factor this sort of the little tiny junk. <laughs> 
Like yeah. how much of a factor that is in the overall story you're telling? <laughs> well, I think it's very distracting <laughs> to Slyne's character. Like it's definitely on his mind. Uh, I'm curious going how forward. How many times is it in there? It's like yeah. one through, we'll put it in it like has one, to be like once or like twice. Once or twice or something or something and does like it that. sort of pay off? Narratively, I think I guess it's like a sort of a checkoff. Well, I think paying off, yeah, is a tall order for something like that, yeah. right? For something so small. But I think when you're mm -hmm. referencing sort of somewhat real life events based right. on a somewhat, you, you have to keep some facts straight. Right. Fans are going to be annoyed if you distort, if you deviate, yeah, right, <laughs> too much. So, right, but it's important right. to know that the characters referenced are different from who they're inspired by. Exactly, it's like very different. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I mean. Yeah. Well, it's all off the cosmic bookshelf. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. Totally. I, there, there's a few. There's a, I think you get really flowery in sort of your descriptions of it, which I think are beautiful. I think that there's some parts towards the end where the 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 sort of prose. I'm I'm getting a little confused as to what that what it means. This part in particular, Jack's extremely tiny and weird nuts and wiener <laughs> attempted to dangle in the silence. But we're simply unable to physically do so because of their size. I guess I'm not really sure what attempting to dangle means. Well, that's like the that's the idea of of descriptive language, right? You're personifying something so so tiny and weird, right. yeah. and and you're saying it it's trying. It's trying, but it's actually to. not. You're ascribing a personality to an inanimate, right? You know, dry right. object, <laughs> right? And that's something we learned in uh, in writing school. I have a I have a creative degree, cool writing degree. Yeah, was it stuff like this or? <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole class. Yeah, on, so like if you on want, what? if you wanted to like go, I don't know, like show that to like Brantley Mulligan or like yeah. I don't know, Dan Harmon, someone you wanted to like pitch okay. that to someone up the chain, right, someone right. up the up chain, the chain. Utilize right. your sort of network to help us help you. Perfect. And this is helping me. Yes, this is. I, I would love well, yeah. to talk more about it. Maybe off off pod. Well, we mentioned uh, you're an actor. Yeah. So so, I mean, you got, so who do you have in mind for me? <laughs> I mean, look, the whole oh, damn, the whole damn buffet. Yeah. I mean, you can read I for whatever the you Duke, want. Maybe. <sighs> I think we want you. The to thing be... is, he's like an off-screen like yeah. guy. Yeah. Off the story screen. actually begins and ends with the script, <laughs> so we okay. don't ever see him. It's like Twenty Four with it. Jack Bauer. It well, just one. Uh, period. It seems like a really powerful character that you allude to if you don't see him. Like, what is his impact? Well, on the God story? is powerful, and we can't see him. So is that what you right, think you are? Is that what you're trying to say? I guess that is a little different. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I, it's a metaphor again. Yeah. But sometimes in writing we say things that mean something else, but right. they are like a placeholder for the idea. I don't know. I'm just like spitball. I'll do like a like a like a slime Jack, slime Jack, slime Jack. How about Jack? Would you Jack. read for Jack? Interesting. Yeah, Jack, I, mean, I have some Jack? character thoughts, uh, <laughs> but we could definitely talk about it. We absolutely love to like, have a meeting about it. I, mean, so I just figure like did. CGI budget would probably be like lower because <laughs> we could use because huh? you'd be because you could use what because you could be like because you would have. You probably have his like clothes. His D &D. I have his you're, clothes. You probably have a lot of DMDs. Save on war. Save on war. I don't really have any of that. I don't, Surely I don't you dressed well, up. Well, look, we yeah. can we can buy that, right? Can, you yeah, know yeah. what? For yeah, we could buy that. We we'll could buy, buy the wardrobe. Yeah. Interesting. Patreon Zoom. Well. Just looking for a foot in the door here. Right. right. So. Well, another thought I had is like it's really clearly is something that Sline is sort of obsessed with. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish that there was maybe a little more real estate in the writing itself, from, uh, just kind of given space to like sign being like, fuck, why am I so fucking thinking about this? I'm fucked up in the head. You want to, you want to be more inside the mind of a slime kind well, of. Well, you, we already are. I right. Think, <laughs> right. I think we already are kind of hearing it from his perspective, even yeah. if it's like, you know, outside of quotes and things we're hearing his head. So I, I, I wonder right. if he's like, God, I wish I didn't always think about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's something fucking wrong with me. <laughs> yeah. And I think that that battle definitely exists within him, but the beauty yeah. is that he'll never be different and he'll yeah. never change and he'll, he'll never always change. be that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The, all good characters in Riot, that's another thing we learned in school, don't change. Ever change, ever. Yeah. Right. They yeah. identify a need. Yeah. And they've, they've practically ignore it because of their distractions. Vonnegut always said you give them a glass of water and then you give them the water and then they drink the water and that's the story. They're thirsty. They're always thirsty. Saying that. <laughs> and so this is like and, and, okay, yeah. this, is like free. this is free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys, you think you should be paying for this shit? I'll tell it to you straight up. You know, this is like how you write a story. Yeah. And come to think of it, you actually just you, you actually just, yeah. So probably shouldn't have even had you read that. We'll oh, have to cut. I mean, listen, you want? I think. 
part of sharing your work is is hearing other people's opinions and and where they it's just that i feel like you might like like you having that Mm -hmm. and like taking that to another room where we don't have control over it's like too valuable it's hard yeah yeah. i'm not trying to steal your work i no (laughs) i didn't say that we didn't say that no 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 no. but but if you did Mm -hmm. right this would be the only way that you could so we're yeah. just gonna make sure you're just gonna cover bases yeah, yeah. All right. good. i do think like what if this is just just one last thought on it yeah what if what if the jack character was just kind of packing you know <laughs> <laughs> packing no packing no 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 yeah what were you gonna say yeah, but, I actually because there was like stuff. another character that like aiden could just have he doesn't even have to be packing he could just have normal Normal genitals. Yeah, what if they just normal, have normal genitals? Normal, <laughs> uncircumcised genitals. So you think that... I, I don't like... See, this is why I don't like bringing this to like it feels a, like I'm, a I feel like I'm killing someone I love in front of me. You know? Yeah. Right. It's like yeah. when, when you... It's just one of those things that's got to stay, right? Because it's like you guys can't see the story the way I can. Yeah. Right. And can it's you elaborate like, on the story? Or <laughs> like why? <laughs> you know, it's... Why, how, why is it such a crucial piece? Because it's just... It, it's not done yet, right? So it's going to come... Like, you know, uh, the easiest part is starting something. The hardest part's ending something. Yeah. But I have an ending in mind. And then it incorporates all of this shit. Yeah. And it really has to matter. Even <laughs> Aiden, Johnny, and McKeg... <laughs> And you're pointing at him. <laughs> pointing at him. <laughs> well, I'm pointing. I'm just thinking. I'm just pointing. I'm, I'm in the yeah. mental palace of the world. I'm pointing right now. past yeah. him because I don't Got see it. It's not me. It's not. It's not like every not everything's me. about you, and you always make it about you. So I we're trying. Do, to... I so, do make Aiden, Johnny, and McKeg about me. So sometimes. you, you guys is. I mean, it's weird that you're on his side now because we're in this project together. We'll talk yeah. about that. I feel like, and that'll be something we. He just had a lot of good advice, and I feel like his rewrite brings a lot to the table. In mm. for my for that character, this is what happens. You get a starstruck. You watch character. College Humor growing up. Yeah, mm. you know, can't watch Simpsons. You, you only come watch in College Humor with <laughs> <laughs> the nag and to read the script with. <laughs> can't believe you fucking didn't write us into it. I, I I'm so sorry. I'm I genuinely misunderstood. I thought we were all gonna do that. I message I messaged our group chat. I said, "You know, be really funny is if we wrote a story where we are all really cool characters." And we're doing mm. a read, but yours is obviously about oh, that you. That would have been so much better. Yeah. Oh my and god! And ours is like idealized versions of ourselves. Yeah. And uh, you're forced to read while we all read. It's together. funny because we both checked in. And I, you, I, you. I, it's I, also funny because I've messaged you so many different things that you haven't replied to. Like first, I was like, "Hey, you want help writing it?" Didn't reply to it. And then I was like, "Hey, we should meet before the podcast to kind of go through it, so I can read the script." Yeah, it confidently. made no sense to me, and I was like, and "That doesn't make sense." And, and I, we just ignored it instead of replying. Like, I don't understand. I was can in you the zone. You know what it's like. Uh, yeah, sometimes you, you just get to writing and you and you just you really get on a, a tear. <laughs> you just get locked into how tiny the balls are and you can't think about anything else. They attempt it's to dangle. They don't have circular. enough leverage to swing. They yeah. attempted. Yeah. You know. It's not far enough. I'm heavy sorry. Enough. I fucked up. And it would have it would have included all of us. I I genuinely thought that's what all we were. And supposed this is to our be. last chance because he'll be dead soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll all be dead soon after. <laughs> well, thanks for inviting me. Do you think your colleagues would like this story? Uh, you know, we can talk later. I, I think um, I think it has some things going for it, and some things I have questions about. You yeah. know, uh, I'm not sure. Gosh, you know, it's it's how do you stand out in that world, right? And mm. and I think it's like I think Brennan Lee Mulligan could be our our dead horse. Your, yeah, yeah. We yeah. ask him. You you could ask him to do what to be our dead horse in the right. <laughs> dead horse in there, right? There's no. Dead. Yeah, yeah. Well, Wait, I, there I, can I, be. I thought that was the a idea, metaphor it's for a whiteboard. We didn't add it in, but then we have a dead horse that we wanted to put in. And we also got a dead horse, well, like a workaholics whiteboard. Shit, we can't say. Yeah, that's been done. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Shit like uh, you know, bacon uh, strips. Bake and bake and bake and bacon. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, like that's what she said, kind of thing. Yeah, like, um, kind of done jokes. Yeah, yeah. We well, not those. that one. Yeah. That one's pretty good. <laughs> that one's pretty good. <laughs> sometimes it's like, because <laughs> because women be saying that. Because sometimes. what if what if women be she saying said it? Wow. <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah. I fucked it all up. I, I'm you sorry. Know, I I, I'm trying. To, I actually my can't hope, believe this. My I hope actually... is with with the, this podcast and you coming on it is that there will be enough. Like, welcome to our world. You're gonna get TikToked out of your mind. You're gonna get cut in short form many times. Me? And I'm hoping yeah. you get cut out of context so many times that it makes it back to the D and D community. Right. Oh. And then they learn. They learn to want to kill you from the inside. Like the, kill the, to kill me from the, the inside. The QB sneak. 
Yeah, on your brain. We wow. were, were you, the 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 Zach, you know that plays lacrosse. You're that guy to us. <laughs> because I have the same name, name, and we don't have object permanence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we just don't understand like, how there's two of you. God. Well, I really appreciate you know being brought in and. <laughs> <laughs> the generous. What time was, are we at? Yeah, I don't like it. I have no concept. Twenty? Okay. That's actually insane. Whoa, we that's can crazy. go back to normal now. Yeah, yeah, we can go back. It's time to go back to normal. All right, you're our friend again. Well, it's a great. It was a great read, and you know, Thank we you. can talk some more about so the, 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 I fucked it the ideas I fucked it as it goes up. on. I made yeah. it about yeah. me instead of my friends. I didn't mean to. I thought we were all doing that, but uh. That's I. Did you go to college? <laughs> <laughs> my, I, you know what's funny? I went to Alabama. I went to a state school. Roll I went tie. to an did Arrow you go College. To roll tide? <laughs> Arrow College. I did too. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Roll Tide, baby. Roll Shit. Tide. Let's I really go. don't. I I went there because I had. You know, I'm from Alabama. I had bad grades. I like kind of didn't give a shit about school, and then it was sort of like, oh fuck, I have to apply to colleges, and I, you know, just went to the state school nearby, um, and learned. Nothing. Learn what absolutely you, what your degree nothing. In, your program? Telecommunication and film. They're like '70s sounding. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah the, the, the technology degree. was just invented, so all these classes yeah. started open. It's very. It was a very old <laughs> feeling degree with, that was not very updated and not the school's like priority uh, by any means. Um, but yeah, I went to Alabama and then only really learned anything when I got out here. Roll yeah. fucking tide. I mean, you got a film degree and made it happen. That's pretty beast. Yeah, I mean, I I feel lucky. I I think in in going to into like the comedy world and like learning by osmosis by being on set on on Key and Peele and like taking all those classes and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, do do y'all like outside of the podcast? Are you like what do you you got your degree in? Yeah, writing? dude, I have a creative writing degree from a state school. Yeah, so I'm. <laughs> I'm a creating writing minor. Yeah. <laughs> Which means absolutely nothing. It means nothing. so little. Yeah. Like, it, even even the major yeah. it means very little. Pr- trust me. I have um, a it, helps, it helps you personify <laughs> tiny yeah. balls. It didn't even. Anyone uh, can learn how to do that. Oh. <laughs> you take one fucking lynda.com class. I don't even think they have that shit anymore. Linda? They had Linda, I think. No. Nah, I took so many Linda classes in college. That's crazy. What is Linda? Linda's uh, like, uh,. It's like masterclass, oh! But it's worse. <laughs> it's like masterclass, but, but the teachers are like like masters. School credit? <laughs> no, it's like like my college offered a membership for free to basically. So you know, masterclass. You take people yeah. who have accomplished like a lot in their career, and then they teach yeah. you how they did it, right? Yeah. Linda's like that, but the people have just not accomplished anything, <laughs> and they just teach you stuff that they're they just know how kind to of do. guessing. It's yeah, just okay. like here's how this works. I know how to do it. It's but like, like if Aiden taught how to play Mortal Kombat or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, w- I was gonna say instead of Ninja teaching the streaming masterclass, it's just me on Linda. And I'm like I think this. Like you is know how YouTube yeah. tutorials exist for like yeah. everything. They put those behind a paywall. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so that's what I offer you on our Patreon. Slime's <laughs> writing class. No, uh, I did have a question for you. I think in a lot of moments of like being a creative guy or whatever, or a creative person, where it's like there was there's one thing you watched or saw when you were younger that really like set it off do, we, do you have that in your head mine is pablo francisco's comedy central presents special. oh my god the 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 little tortilla boy no fucking way yeah. you know him yeah yeah we're old <laughs> yes <laughs> that was my yeah, shit yeah him just doing all the imp- he does a whole trailer at the end yep. right yeah that was That's his thing. closer yep yep, yep. god I, it's Dude, one of oh things. my god you guys don't know what this is like this is like Aiden finding his Uber driver plays Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> I used to play competitive Mario Kart Wii. Oh, okay. And yeah. he loves Uber drivers. And I have conversations with Uber drivers. Are you a get in and say nothing guy? Are you a get in like I would hey. love to say nothing. Okay. But, but people definitely <laughs> love to talk to me. You're like us. I had one I had one sort of recently and it was like I got into a Tesla and I was like, okay, what is I don't know what that means, but like it's a guy with a nicer car and almost immediately he was driving and he was like, Yeah. You know, the aliens, they're, they're here. Dude, this <laughs> happens. And, and he was like, they have a system, they have a system of tubes that zoom you up and then they will send you a thousand miles away instantly. <laughs> and it was like, no ramp up to this at all. And That's like, so fucking okay. funny. My, my, my friend who stayed with me right now, Miles, he took a ride and the guy was telling him that like, 
that uh, the apocalypse is happening soon, that nukes will crack the sky open, but if the, but the aliens will save us, actually. Oh. Dude, it's crazy. Like, crazy Uber drivers are just a, an always food, apparently, right now, which is... And, and also, like, know. five stars. How do they know so much, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who are they? Li- they're, they're just listening to Rogan. They're the 10K viewers on Rumble channel. Yeah, this guy actually brought up a YouTube account that he would go to that was like, this guy's a surgeon and they're trying to kill him. The, the FBI is trying <laughs> to kill him. And, but, and, uh, and, and they have unlimited uh, th- this like shadow government has unlimited funds. And I did eventually ask him, I was like, if they're trying to kill him and they have un- unlimited funds, how, do, how does he avoid them? And he was like, well, he's got security. And it was like, what? Oh, <laughs> like, Dude. You need to follow up with what security. You yeah. got to know that. When, um, when you encounter someone like this, do you like, I mean, I'm sure you'd rather just not talk, but you're like, oh, this guy's crazy. Do yeah. you, you try to find out more about what they I think? definitely like to like take sort of a journalistic approach to it yeah. uh, versus like, arguing about it because like that i don't want to like lose or i mean like i, <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to I lose, lose. I said, the alien guy i don't want to flail on the argument like fuck is he right uh no but i don't want to be like uh, you know set someone off who is obviously unwell in a certain way uh especially while they're driving yeah uh, so i'll be like oh interesting yeah yeah and we'll just like try to get a little more out of the story i guess um with well, a guy yeah. like that like I, to your point of like you don't want to lose like if, if you talk to a guy that crazy mm-hmm. it, but you're just you and he's like the aliens are here and you're like no they're not and he's like well yes they are and it's because gravity works different on mars at that point yeah. i don't know as much as him yeah <laughs> like i'm pretty sure aliens aren't here but he probably knows more argument points right so like, like i gotta if i lose that argument if i got nothing to say at some point I'm he gonna leave. He won. I gotta yeah. eat that. I gotta be like, I just lost an argument to this guy. Yeah. About aliens. Well, uh, no, because you can just say no. That's wrong. Like he's playing the same hand. Yeah, but then he goes, huh, fucking never listens. Like, he, like if I'm like, no, you're he's wrong. Smug about it. He's like, he's well, that's like, not an argument. Well, I've done the research, and you're like, well, I'm just alive, and I know <laughs> I have common sense or whatever. And I don't know if I could live like with. I just gotta disagree with him. I gotta be yeah. like, yeah, dude, you're fucking so true. <laughs> so true. Get me, get me home safe. How about? Yeah, actually, drop me off right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is good. I've had those where I'm like, this this person can't know where I live. You know, where I'm like, this is pr- close enough down the way. Yeah. yeah. No, I live at Popeyes. Yeah. No, it's. <laughs> Cool here. It's great. I love it here. <laughs> it's funny that he's a Tesla guy because it, it makes me think he's. I just believe. Yeah. Like, at some point, if you're a Republican, I just start believing you're a Trump fan because, like, at, like Republicans at some point became like so polarizing in the media that if you're still repping that shit, like, you got to think the 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 way that they're portrayed in the media is chill. Yeah. And so, in the same way, if you're still driving a Tesla, you're probably like, yeah, Elon's chill because. You would you would sell your Tesla by now. To, it's yeah. so shameful. Think? Yeah. So I, mean, I, I don't want to see have convictions. No, not like on that, Elon. Though. Well, for my bit, imagine they do. Okay. Because <laughs> I want all, I want Elon to have to meet all these guys in person at the at the big Elon oh, yeah. meetup. He's such yeah. a chode. Like how awesome probably, like, would that be? Because they, they come up and they'd be like, "Yo, you are from the aliens," and he has to just be like, oh, yeah, yeah. "I'm think, looking into <laughs> this. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah. 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 Hit him with the I'm looking into this. Look at yeah, it's procreation. I feel like Elon kind of settles for anybody that will just applaud. You know, yeah, he needs it's, the yes men of his sort of fan base. Because he went to the, he, uh, I don't know if you saw, he went to uh, the World Championship for Valorant. I saw, and they panned to him. That. Whole stadium booed. So Hilarious. Funny. Yeah, because you know what the kids hate more than fucking anything else is guys being cringe. Yeah. Is boomers, Deeply old boomers cringe. being cringe. Yeah, and he is just super cringe. He, take away all of the dumb shit and the fucking everything wrong about him, but he's just. He's just cringe. What rank could he be that where we all just forget about that? Like if he's like a, if he's like ascendant too, are we like I? No, I don't. He would have to beat Mango. That's in my Malin latest test. Or in yeah. Valorant. Do, no, they, in, do in, you in think in that Malin. Elon Musk believes he could do it? Like, do you think that 100%. he? One hundred percent. I think he, I think so too. Yeah. I think that he like he's psychotic enough to believe that he could train to beat anyone in anything. I some part of me understands that though, because I do like feel like some in some way I feel irrationally like. Like a game like Valorant, like I think like I could be great, but I don't play it at all. Mm. And like a big part of me is like I could be good. It's like when you see a really like we so see a really good. big God, dude. Maybe you are the same. You two are the same. <laughs> same you see like a really big dude at a bar, and you're just like <laughs> with the right good. punch, I could win the fight. You yeah. always go back to this bar f- fight this fantasy is, that you have. This is I real. Have, I had this exact thought right, but okay. So this was this was two hours ago. 
and uh <laughs> somebody just broke the marathon world record and, for how long uh yeah. it's two hours and 35 <laughs> seconds two hours two hours That's and 35 seconds crazy. the person for the entire marathon has to be running four minute 35 second miles that's fucking i crazy. saw that uh, this is a this is an incredible human <laughs> achievement and in my head i was like if anthony saw this he would be like i could do that it came you went to me i thought you were gonna be like yeah, i thought you were saying you could do it you no. thought about me i thought about you saying that you could do that no i'm humble when it comes to physical feats mm. i know my limitations i feel like i, could. I can't fucking bench up over a plate hmm yeah, I do feel like I could run fast if I had that time. <laughs> Give me six months and I could do a three are, hour marathon. Are you marathon. the kind of guy that you watch a movie about like like street dancing and you're like, I could be the best street dancer? Yeah. Like five minutes after you're like, if that's I'm, my life now. If I wasn't starting to dance right now as a 36 year old, <laughs> I could be such a good like. Uh, when, I you have, when you have these fantasies. On my head. Yeah. <laughs> when you have these fantasies, what's the thing between you and that? Like, is it just purely what you want to be doing? Having a or job. Is, is there a thing? Uh, <laughs> any sort of drive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if I was driven. Work. Yeah. Uh, I guess an unlimited budget to put... To, like, when you see... I think that's the fantasy of, like, when you see the, like, comedian who is now in a Marvel movie who's ripped. And it's like, oh, if yeah. they just gave me a million, you know, whatever the, it is to star in an action movie for Marvel, I could be that ripped. And I think in many ways that is true. I'm the opposite. Uh, Kumail, I actually don't Kumail believe. changed the game yeah. when he did it. And I Chris was like, Pratt looked... Well, I guess Kumail was such a... a truly a, a known as a comedian that it did feel really weird yeah. to see him so they're, strong. They're <laughs> sipping the, the Hollywood dose, bro. Just yeah. a little bit of test. And There's I could look like that a with, a, with, with, a, with a Hollywood I dose. I think if you gave me a million dollars for a movie, I still wouldn't get there. Like, I'd still yeah. find a way to be like, I don't... <laughs> but I if don't you had go. no other commitments, that was your commitment. Do you yeah, feel I just that don't way? think... I just can't. I believe in you. I just can't I imagine know. myself shred it. You know, really? That's never, a you problem. I've never been there, so we, I just can't. We also work all on can't that. Do that. That part of my Minecraft map has not been rendered because I've never walked over there, if, and so I don't know what it's like. If you if you get the V, yeah. the Instagram fan cams for the yard are just going to be unbearable. I, did, I would find so many reasons to just take my shirt off like all the time. Oops. Yeah, we I was just we were just on uh just on Cutie podcast fear and and mm-hmm. the whole time I was just thinking like. How many, how many hours would it take me to sleep us on? Like, how many raw hours <laughs> do I have to put him? It to just one punch and he's down? Oh. And I'm like, how many hours of work would I have to put in to even get there? Is it possible? He's a really big guy. He's, he's yeah. just so I might lose Is this a dog. fair fight or are you in the middle of the podcast jumping over? <laughs> <laughs> so Charging it's, the mound. It's a good question. I've imagined it in a couple ways. But the, <laughs> you can't the, fair fight the, that. No, it's fair fight. It's okay. fair fight. Okay. I stand up and I say, Hassan, I want to fucking kill you. And he's like, obviously doesn't take me serious. I said, no, I'm for real. I've been training secretly and I want to fight you for real. I want you to try and I have to yeah. win and everything goes. <laughs> Does prison he have rules. a fighting background or is he just big? Uh, he's just big he's and just strong big. and athletic. Well, that's and, that's he's that's a political where, streamer. He's kind of been fighting his whole he life. Knows, no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone's coming for him. I, I, I feel irrational in this department just because my dad is from Japan and came to the United States to teach karate because he was a part of like a larger oh, karate shit. organization. And he is like the, you know, his knuckles are so fucked up and huge from punching bricks and stuff. Oh, my God. And so I, I, I've seen him, like, break <laughs> big stacks of ice and do all that stuff. And, like, I just grew up taking karate. And even though I, uh, it was not my passion. Did you take karate in America? Yeah. I am in, Al- in Alabama. I was doing different, karate. Yeah. Different. I also, little known fact, did karate. Alabama okay. karate is a sick band name. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Does your dad still get up to old shit and just punch stuff? He not really because he's really old. Okay. He's like he was like an old dad already, so he's like eighty two. Oh shit! And so he's like mellowed out a lot, but he's still in really good shape for for his age. I bet if you put him in a ring with any other eighty two year old, I think <laughs> sleep so, high low. Like he's yeah. like yeah yeah. I uh, I got the green belt. Okay. Where do you get? Is that high? All of them are different. I will say all the ranks and all like because some some different schools have like different like it's blue here, yellow here, orange oh, here. Oh, so yeah. our oh fuck, I'm trying to remember. So it it went. I don't remember what was before green. Yeah. But I remember it goes green, brown, then black. That's exactly the same as ours. Okay, so yeah. I was a green belt. Yeah. Bronze medal. That's uh, and then that? before that, it's like all the other colors. Yeah, yeah. But the, I, I feel like American karate is weird because like. To get to the next belt, you just had to, like, run a mile. Well, that's the thing. My dad's style was, like, he was a part of this other organization, so he brought, like, uh, 
the real deal to the United States. <laughs> yeah. And so he wouldn't, he was like, his whole thing was like, your kid doesn't deserve a belt, so I'm not giving oh, it to so, him. That's so yeah. cool. So it's not like yeah. the McDojo like, yeah. type of thing. He it's thought everything like else is like, you pay money to get another belt. And he, it's exactly he how it was for me. Yeah. At all. I think I realized that even as a young kid. Your mom slipped the guy a hundred bucks. Like yeah. she, well, it's just like the membership is, it just comes with belts <laughs> over time. Like yeah. It's like a passive. Like I, like, I'm not kidding. Like you go to a karate class and it's like, Punch this boy. It's like a plastic version of like a brick. Like a, like a, they're perforated. Like I'm pulling it. With yeah. yeah. Really and and he's like, basically like pulling it and he's like, yeah, punch it. And then you do it and he's like, like, oh, good job. And then yeah. it just gets like a little bit more dense plastic as you move up in belts. And if you punch it's through plastic? it. plastic? Is it like magnetized? Uh, no, it's oh. plastic and it had teeth. Okay. Like this. And mm. you just punch through the teeth. So it kind of hurt. Yeah. Uh, and, but like, I mean, not enough to warrant uh, honor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's no honor in that plastic. So like, you punch a plastic thing. You do about like 30 minutes of like moves you that you have been like uh, uh, rehearsing. Mm-hmm. And if you could do all the moves, punch okay. the thing, and then you could run. I think two miles. You just they go made up you about, run miles. Yeah, we had to okay. go down to the local park and we had to run two miles. Okay. It was, it was they would add a mile every belt. Yeah. So it was like one, two, three, four, uh, and then eventually I got to green and I said, "Mom, this fucking sucks." I hate this, and I yeah. played soccer. You weren't about it. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> he didn't have what it takes. You yeah. can say it. My but- dad would do a thing in, in where he grew up where, like, they, he and my uncle, uh, they did a thing where they would do a hundred-man kumite, where they would fight a hundred people in a row. What? Dude, they have how, that in Melee. How Dude. long did they do have that in Melee? It's like, were they wireframe? People, <laughs> yeah, people made of wireframes, yeah. Uh, One wait, stop. so, what, so yeah. fight, like... With like karate rules, yeah. What are and the rules like, of what, karate? I think more modern day stuff is like you can't really punch people in the face, but you can kick them in the head, and you can't like kick, you know, you can't I kick someone that. in the knee. Like you can't go for that. I maybe that's wrong. There uh, should be a you, rule generally, like, like punching people in the head is illegal. But yeah. if you can, if you have like the skill set to kick people in the head, yeah, that is, and it's like a game. bare yeah. knuckle fighting. Uh, so. Yeah, they would just do this thing where it was like part of their organization, like after you or whatever black belt, like you have to fight if you can. That's the feat of strength that they all respected. Um, and my <laughs> uncle did it and my dad tried to do it and got like and it was the first time they ever did it with like lights and stuff and filmed it. And he got like 60 people in and he passed out. Oh, he passed Holy out. shit. Yeah. Dude, getting to 60 plus, getting past the halfway mark and being like 50 more guys. Yeah. yeah let's go. It's like a Mr. Beast video. That is, yeah. I, I slept 100 <laughs> men in the ring. That's why uh, my uncle fit. got an island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking crazy. I didn't know that. Okay, before we go, you never answered. Mine was mm. Pablo Francisco. What's like the, if you can think of it, one thing when you were, when you were younger that like was like super formative for this me? Is that, this is that shit. God, I think honestly, one of the most formative things is truly. Someone said it earlier as a joke, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, the yeah. the, the not the YouTuber. No, yeah, yeah. the guy that we call no. Mr. Beast, the, the goofy yeah. guy that gets like, into situations. I feel situations. like very. Uh, I think like physical comedy speaks to me in a in a big way and like uh, silly in that way. Uh, and then I became a writer for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you watch Mr. Bean, your brain chemistry changed, and you're like, oh. I need uh, to try to recreate this yeah. in my own way. It was like your, M- or your not your, it was like your uh, Manchurian candidate. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it, it activated I woke you. me. <laughs> I thought it was going to come full circle. I thought you were going to say Grant Arena. <laughs> Grant Arena. <laughs> Eastwood is so funny, the way he yelled at that chair. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right, hey, right. thanks for coming on our show. Dude, thank that you. Was really, yeah, thanks I, for having me. They, we're, we're old, man. It feels good, man. And we can talk later about that script if you want. <laughs> I would love to you talk about just the get, script Why don't you give it back to him? It's, it's pocket size now because you folded it up. Why don't you just, yeah. you just slip it? You just keep it. This is for you. Oh, you yeah, you can it. email it to me. You show, no, yeah, you keep yeah, it. Just, I think physical, it's awesome. like the old. Keep that. I want you to more watch traditional you types. They're going to want to read it. In your breast pocket and your wine shirt. Here? Yep. Right, yeah, right there. Right awesome. in there. Yeah, right, no, yeah. you it's, put it in. It's, it's wow. in. I can see it. You yeah. just yeah. drop it right in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, everyone. Hey, join the Patreon if you want to keep listening or don't. Or don't. It's all right. We don't. Patreon.com slash the yard. Patreon.com slash the yard. Okay, okay, bye. And goodbye. Bye, Zach. Bye. Is you hit their car <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> that you hear them say, I'll pay for the car, and you start going, and pushing their car forward. <laughs> I will pay for the car in front of me. You hit their car. No, but you know how, like, the lady was, she was just inching into the drive through and, like, the other person just didn't have what it took to stop it with her vehicle. Yeah. It's like a screen in basketball.